Well, we're back with Ask the Edmonds Cop, and we are at our 100th segment. Can you believe that? <laughs> we No, in some ways. Uh, I mean, I, I actually watched some of the old ones because you sent me a link, and yeah. it goes to your webpage that has all of them, and I looked at some of the first ones. We look younger. Y yes, we do look younger, <laughs> and I look thinner in the old segments, <laughs> and that's, I guess, working at a desk job, get you? Um, and I'm no, we're no longer just talking into a cardboard box. That's right. So I remember that from the original yeah. segments with your makeshift teleprompter and staring into a That's cardboard right. box with a camera behind it. So we've, we've upgraded our digs quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your digs, yes. Yeah. I'm Great. just the invited guest. Right. Well, uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I can't believe we still managed to come up with topics, but here we are with online reporting. Yeah, uh, so we're going to flip the switch basically March 1st. Um, some other surrounding agencies in Snohomish County are already doing this, and it's really a convenience thing. Um, and that it, we'll kind of walk through what you can report online and how you do it and so forth. But the real message we want to get out is this is not a way for us to um, slough off work um, or do less work. Um, this is a convenient service uh, that we want to offer people the availability to report real low-level crimes online. But if you call 911 and you want an officer, you're going to get an officer. Okay. We're going to respond. Um, if you call our dispatch center, we're not going to have them try and just send you to an online reporting website. If you want us to come out, we're going to come out and we're going to deal with whatever your problem is. All right. But explain when people might want to use this particular feature. Yeah. So this will be for real low level type stuff. In fact, um, the way to get to it is you're going to go to our city's police department website okay. and you will see a link in the left hand corner that says online reporting and it'll pull up, um, I believe I have a graphic for you, yes. and it, the website will actually look um, like this and it gives you a lot of details related to what you can and can't report. And at the bottom it just says uh, file an online report in big red letters. You'll click there and it'll take you to the right website. Um, so some things you can report and we really encourage you to look at if, if you're interested in um, lost property. People lose wallets, cell phones, passports, things that you need a police report, you know, to back up that you lost it. You can just file it online. Okay. Um, Low-level car, car prowls. So you come out in the morning and your car is broken into. Um, maybe you left your car doors unlocked and 86 cents and change is missing and they rummaged through your glove box but didn't take anything. And you're already running late for work. And you can go to work and file your report online if you want to do that. Okay, and you said that even though it is 86 cents, you do want people to report that. Yeah, we want you to let us know when criminal activity is occurring. I mean, if you don't report it to us, we have no idea that it happened. Right. So, and it might be part of a larger ring of car prowls. Maybe we caught the car prowler. Yeah. <laughs> that happens um, yeah. sometimes, and we're able to, you know, charge as an aggregate group for car prowls, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, graffiti. Um, you can actually report minor hit and run collisions mm. on there. Okay. So, um, some things you cannot report to us um, felony level crimes. Uh, we don't want to see assaults, robberies. Um, you can't report your car stolen. You can't report a firearm stolen uh, because those are things we actually the officer has to have entered into the state computer system. So there's some reasoning behind that. Okay. Um, if you have suspect information, so if you know who took whatever item you're trying to report as stolen, um, the officer has to come out and gather that information because it gives us a starting point. Um, missing people. Yeah. Another reason. Right. That's something it seems like you wouldn't want to wait to report no. online, right? No, if you want no, to find you the wouldn't. person, yeah. No, you wouldn't. And in fact, we've got some screenshots. Um, I, I took some snips um, from, from the website. So it, it basically will walk you through okay. reporting online. So you will log in, um, click yes, I agree to this, and then answer some yes or no questions. That's how it works. It's really actually pretty easy. Um, and if you answer yes to something that it doesn't want you to report, and then it'll kick you to a different screen and say, sorry, you can't actually report this online. And give you the non-emergency number and you just call okay. and we'll come out. So it sounds like there's really three different things, ways you can report things. You can either, you know, 911 obviously if yes. it's something that is... Uh, in progress uh, emergencies, in progress, you call 911. Kind of and then the non-emergency number, which is for things that are not 911 level, but maybe not Correct. the level of the online? Or yes. is there any overlap between the online and the non-emergency number? Um, 
if you want the officer to come out, yeah. then call the non-emergency number. Um, if you just want to file a basic online report, then just go to the website and you can do it that way. Okay. So there's another added benefit which we think people will really like, and that is um, once you file the report, you do have to have a valid email address to do this. Right. Um, you start the report and you get to a point, it'll ask you to enter your email address, and that's to verify that you have you have a valid email address um, because you're going to get stuff back right you'll get a link you'll click it it will take you to the second half of the report where you'll do most of the data entry your information the location and so forth and the program is actually very smart um, if you try and enter a Linwood address thinking that you were in Edmonds but it's actually in the city of Linwood right it will automatically send the report to the Linwood Police Department oh, if oh it, wow yeah if it's in the Esperance area the yeah. area we have of unincorporated county in right. Edmonds um, it recognizes that and will send it to the sheriff's office that's great yeah it's pretty good so will they get a response back from those folks yeah then? what what happens is and everybody is the same thing um, once you file the report it comes in via email to us and there's I, we're going to have our detectives basically review them and they will approve it and you will get a response back containing your actual report. Mm. So there's no need to come in and turn in a public records request for it. It's just going to get kicked right back to you in written format. You can hit print, you can send it wherever you need to for insurance purposes. Uh, works out pretty good, saves you and us both a step of having to fill out more paperwork to get a copy of it and so forth. You just get it automatically. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So we, th we think it'll be a good service, uh, something people will really like, um, save some time on their end. And honestly, it'll save some time on our end, too, um, yeah. for, for some of these things that we're really just taking reports for insurance purposes on um, to help people out and, and kind of do it yourself. Um, we do want people to recognize, and it, there's a bunch of stuff in there, that um, it, filing any sort of police report that is fictitious or contains bad information, if you just flat out lie, is a crime in the state of Washington. So you'll see disclaimers all over there. Just because you're not talking to the officer, I mean, so you have to have to be true and report stuff that's actually missing. Because okay. <laughs> we, we see that. We've seen plenty of fake reports. Oh, try to get years. like insurance money Absolutely. and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So, right. and when we see them, depending on what it is, you know, you still may end up getting a phone call. There right. may be follow-up information in there, and we still may end up contacting you down the road okay. um, and following up with an officer. Okay, good to know. Yeah. But the bottom line is, is if somebody really wants to have a police officer come out no matter what, call 911 or the non-emergency number. Correct. It is not going to change our service model one bit. We're okay. very happy with what we do, and we're going to keep it that way. Very good. Thank All you right. very much. You will. Okay. Uh, we will be back soon with episode 101 of <laughs> Ask the Edmonds Cop. Thanks for joining us.